Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see how to add data to the lightning data table. So in the previous video, we saw how to create columns inside this lightning data table. If you want to learn how to create the columns inside the lightning data table, I will provide the link in the description. Now in this video, we are going to see how to bring the, bring the data uh, inside the lightning data table. How can we bring the data inside this lightning data table? But before getting started, if you like my videos, please subscribe to this channel. So now I'm going to go back to my LWC component. So in the previous video, learn columns list is used to bring the columns inside my lightning data table. In order, if I want to bring the data, I need to use this data list variable. Okay. So what I'm going to do is first, I need to get the data. First, I need to get this particular context related to this account, right? I need to get all these contacts related to this account. So for that purpose, I need to query the data. To query the data, I'm going to create one more new epic class. Learn, let's say, lightning data table controller. And inside this method, I'm going to use public static. It's going to be list of contact, right? It's not going to be only one contact. It's going to return list of contact. Hence, I'm using list of contact over here. Con list. And then I'm going to give this. And then I'm just going to select id comma name comma for as we want to show all these fields right phone phone comma uh, email we need to show all these fields inside this uh, lightning data table right so we need to show name phone number and email that's why i'm querying the name phone number and email from the contact where id or we can say where account id equals to this particular account. I'm not right now I'm hard coding and then we'll pass it from a parameter. So yeah. So what we have done is right now it's going to return list of all the contacts related to this account. So I'm querying all the contacts whose account ID is this. So I'm querying these contacts that is Salesforce in five minutes and please subscribe these contacts uh, because the ID of this account is the contacts related to this account are these two accounts, right? So I'm going to get all these accounts. Now, first, in order to make this Apex class uh, enabled for the uh, LWC component, we need to use Aura enabled with, okay, I have cacheable equals to true over here. I'll just copy it and I'll provide it over here, equals to true. Now, this Apex class is accessible within the LWC component as well. So, I'm going to import this first of all inside my JS, import get data in a lightning data table from at the rate salesforce slash apex slash conlish but the apex slash name was ldt controller and ldt controller so i'm going to use dot from this apex class i want this particular method so now next thing what we want is uh, whenever our component is reloaded okay whenever a component is reloaded if i reload this component automatically the data that is contact name contact phone and contact uh, email should be visible so in order to do that i'm going to use wire decorator wire decorator is used to pull the data without param yeah wire without param so wire decorator is used to pull the data whenever we uh, on load like whenever we want to pull the data from apex on loading that's where we use wire decorator and wire uh, here we are going to provide the apex method name uh, the pseudonym of the apex method name that is get data in ldt now once this is done we are going to get the data if we got the data okay uh, so basically what's going to happen is as soon as our component will be reloaded wire is going to run wire is going to call this method this method is nothing but a pseudonym of our apex class functions apex class function that is con list function right and if i go to this apex class function what it is doing is it's querying all the related contact uh, to a particular account. So we are querying, a per, uh, querying all the related contacts to a particular account. Once this is successful, either either there can be two cases, right? Either there, it can be error or either it can be data. If there is data, then it's fine. If there is error, then it's going to throw an error, right? So if data, if there is a data, I want to show that data inside my lightning data table. So there is a one more column named as data inside the lightning data table, which is used to show the data inside the lightning data table. The variable assigned to this lightning data table data is data list. So I'm going to create a variable data list equals to this. 
and then whatever data I'm receiving that is contact phone number email and everything like that from my apex class I'm going to assign this to the data list now once that is done automatically on load of the component I will be able to see the data uh, what was this oh I have not used wire yeah automatically I will be able to see the data inside my LWC or inside this uh, lightning record edit page let's refresh it now you can see data is visible to us I am able to see this frozen five minutes and please subscribe along with that I can see the phone number as well so if I go and add a phone number inside it phone 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 yeah let's say I had some phone number over here and I save it on load of the component I should be able to see the phone number here as well so as you can see I am able to see the phone number as well over here I think so the phone number is same in both of them that's the thing yeah okay fine whatever so this is how you can show the data inside the lightning data table so in a very long story short what I did was I used this data first of all this data uh, is used to show the data inside the lightning data table and the variable assigned to this is data list so what I'm doing is inside wire I'm making a call to my apex class where, where I am querying all the contacts related to the particular account you can also pass the record ID uh, using uh, you can also pass the record ID okay which we are going to learn in, in uh, events uh, when we are going to learn about events in LWC that's where we are going to understand how to pass the record ID so basically what I'm doing is I'm querying all the related account contacts once I got it if there is data I am assigning just this to the data list and as soon as it is assigned to the data list that, that values get assigned to this data variable or data parameter of the lightning data table and automatically you are able to see the values inside your lightning data table so if you found this video helpful please subscribe to this channel